was a bittersweet night, I guess. Man, I really got to start paying attention. I uh, I didn't realize I was in the sixth race and I was almost late. If it hadn't been for a text message, and it's not like it's the paddock judge's job to text drivers, hey, don't forget to come to work. It just never dawned on me that I had other drives tonight. Why would I? So thanks to Dave for doing that. Text me, hey, are you coming in? I would have been late otherwise, quite a bit late. So uh, I got there, I got a couple other drives, they race good, whatever. Um, I'm, I, I'm always happy to drive horses for people, but I just never dawned on me that I had other drives. Um, we're going to start with the, the best part of the night, and that was the, the two trotting Colts, man. Have they, have they ever given a good account of themselves in the latter part of the season, or what? You know, you guys know I, I faced a lot of backlash as we talked about moving Renegade Gypsy through August, September, because I really didn't think, I thought there was a better chance than not that Renegade Gypsy could not do what he's doing right now. What he's doing right now, next year. Resolute Bay, I told everybody, he's still immature, he's still growing, he's going to be a nice horse. It's going to take time. Renegade Gypsy, come on like gangbusters in the fall. He has been amazing for the past, what, three months? Sure, he, you know, he had some flashes and the race in Ottawa was good. He had some good races, but he wasn't like he is now. The horse is just awesome right now. Very, very good right now. Mario has him good. Everybody in that burn has the, has the horse good. And the horse has been racing great. Resolute Bay, again, you know, we saw with the break last week, it was a little unorthodox. He was on the left line a little bit. You know, it, it, very serious question last week. Is it time to turn him out? James said no. Or as sharp as attack here. He said, we'll take him to the vet, get the work done. Oh, perfect. Away you go. They went to the vet, got the vet work done, and Resolute Bay come from the clouds. Um, I thought he was a winner. I watched the race. I'm sure you did too. I watched the race, and I, I just assumed when I saw the live view, he's a winner. And then I hear them call I, as I'm I walk to, towards the locker to get changed because I was in the next race. I hear nine and two to test. Bring the two to test burn. I said, "What? You mean two and nine to test? Bring the nine to the test burn?" I was sure he won. So I went back again. I watched the slow-mo. It wasn't until you saw the head-on. He said, just at the last second, he just picked him. Man, he raced great. And Renegade Gypsy uh, raced fantastic also. I mean, it, it come a long way, both those Colts. And he's showing desire, right? He's showing he wants to win. And he's good enough. I mean, if this if this Colt continues to do what he does, the sky is the limit for, for Renegade Gypsy. He's got all the tools. The tools were never in question. You know, we raced this colt in the golds as a two-year-old right off the bat. The tools for Renegade Gypsy were never in question. His want and desire to use them maybe a little bit, and there's no wavering. When you're a four-year-old, you have to want it more than the other horses, and you have to because they're all as good as you, right? There's no gimmies. There's no walkovers as a four-year-old trotter at that level. With that many wins and that much money made, there's no kind of put out an effort and race good. No, 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 no. you got to put out an honest effort or you're going to get run over. And just so so proud of, of what the job that Mario and everybody's done with this Colt. The Colt is amazing right now. And then Resolute Bay, again, as I said, you know, Harry took him to the vet, brought him back, so the horse was sharp. James drove him great. He tried right instead of left. <laughs> Worked. <laughs> the right blinker works way better than the left, apparently. The horse raced great and uh, and just got picked off. Man, they both raced so good. You have no idea. I didn't realize how tough they were until I got there. Truffles, too. You know, McCallum. All the right. These are horses that are raced have raced in the open. These are hardened, aged horses. These are the horses these guys are going to have to face next year. And the fact that they're beating them right now... Just amazing. Just so, so happy with both of them. And then, of course, I wound up at Glary M, and it was just much of the same. Oh, i got to keep her trotting. It was just a horrible trip. And it's oh, it a terrible drive. Yeah, it was a terrible drive. I was just doing my best to keep her trotting. I didn't want to drop her in behind or in front of James. I didn't want to give her the opportunity to look for a way out. I wanted to keep her flat, keep her moving forward in a comfortable way. 
as we come out of the first turn. I saw Jonathan Drury. Look, he's coming. Great. There's a good helmet to follow. Had I been able to stay on his helmet, she's right there. But she just lost ground. And, and I, I was angry, but I, it's hard to be angry because she had a way out in the last turn. She could have rolled off. No problem. There was nothing I could have done about it. But she, she didn't. You know, she literally is this close to being great and this close to being horrid. And I mean horrible. It's, it's one of the most frustrating feelings you could ever experience. Knowing that you're sitting behind a horse that has tons of talent and I can't understand why she's choosing to squander it. That break the last time wasn't necessary. Right? Any one of the breaks from before wasn't necessary. The qualifier was a walk in the park. There probably is something going on. Some small little needle in a haystack issue. We've had her to the bed. Right? I gotta ask myself, do we take her up to the vet again, spend more money trying to find something that they haven't found yet, in hopes that we can have her good her next turn? As I drive down the road, minutes from home, I'll tell you which way I'm leaning. Just take the harness off her and send her to Pennsylvania. February 1st, start breeding her. Or as soon as you can thereafter. Very fast filly. Very fast mare. But just between the tying up from time to time and the horsing, which most times are not led to tying up. Man, I would love to have a well-bred colt from that mare. I would love to see what that mare could make. And that's kind of what I want to do. I know there's going to be people say, can we try another trainer? Can we have her do a different vet? Can you take her to a different venue? Can we send her to Brett and Stacy? Can we send her to Megan? Can we send her anywhere? You guys know the answer to that. She's been plenty of places. Very close to being good. Very close to being bad. So, um, I'm not going to say that I, I've written this chapter. I've closed the book. I'm not going to say that. I did say it to Dominic, I'm not racing her again. I did say it to James, I'm not racing her again. But I guess that would be unfair. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to sleep on it. And we'll see what we come up with uh, in regards to a glare AM. But one thing is for certain, I, I would love to see what, what that what that mare can make. What kind of foal that mare can make. To the right sire. Man. Anyway, uh, just a, a tremendously great night from the Colts. And, and I'm not going to say a disappointing night from the mare. She trotted, but she's not right. She's not good. And that's that. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to wake up. We get some horses to train at the farm. We get some babies to go with. I'm going to put the hobbles on Jayport Beach Boy. And time is on my side. I'm going to put the hobbles for the first time on both of those Colts. And uh, tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to go over to Northfield Park. We get four horses in tomorrow night. I am not going to attempt to name all four because we know there's a very good chance I can't. So I'm not even going to name one. You know who they are. One of them's yes. How you like that? That was one I forgot last week. Um, so we have four in tomorrow night. I opted not to, not to go to the Meadows on Wednesday. It was just going to be too much. I think Wednesday, I need to be there. We're getting close to the time where I still haven't got a, a response from Northfield Park, from MGM, about having an open house over there. I know we can have one here. I just got to work it out with Joe. Of course we're going to have one. It's some, some kind of open house for everybody. But to do that, we have to have them gated. We have to have them going in the right direction. Now, I'm very, very pleased with what I've seen um, from the work of, of uh, Jason Merriman and everybody in that barn in Ohio. Just a tremendous job. And then here, obviously, we got James started back. First day on staff today. So James, Danny, Johnny are going to be going with a lot of the babies here. Now, tomorrow, I am going to be going with Time is on my side. And uh, J-Port, J-Port, uh, what's wrong with me? Beach Boy. J-Port Beach Boy 
uh, tomorrow. And the ones that I've been going with the last little while, I'm going to continue to go with them tomorrow and see how they are trotting on and pacing. Also, uh, very happy with what I've seen. The only hiccups to are we still have two babies to come in. We still have to break a Huntsville, and we still have to break and always be Mickey. Uh, one coming from Pennsylvania, one coming from Ontario. They'll both be in the Ontario barn this week. We are now starting to get a, a good idea of where the horses will be, where they're going, um, what country they'll be in, what barn they'll be in, and who they'll be under. So I spent all afternoon doing that with uh, doing that with Amy this afternoon. So uh, very exciting start to the year with the babies. Um, we see the still some of the remnants of summer with our Colts racing great tonight. It's a little deflated with Eglariam and then the injury to, to globe trotting. But again, those mares are, are very, very close to starting the next phase of their life for the stable.ca. Also, we've got some new horses coming on. Looks like uh, Money will school next week uh, on Friday. Uh, he'll school next week. We just got a ton going on. Still in transition, but uh, I didn't bring you guys to stables today for a reason. We still have a ton of horses moving around, but by next Saturday, I should have a pretty good idea where everybody is at. So with that, I'll let you go. I'll probably bring you a video at some point tomorrow talking about what went on in the day, what went on in the night. But till then, take care. Have a great day.